Hello everyone, I'm Rachid Salmi, I'm the Research Council at Eurospine and I'm very happy to host uh, today two person, René Castellin, who was awarded the grant uh, by the Task Force Research in 2017, and to my right, Marcus Leubel, who was just awarded at the European Conference the Best Podium Presentation Award. Congratulations to the two and thank you for being with us. So, uh, René, could you please tell us a little bit about your research in general and more specifically uh, about the project that was awarded the grant? Yeah. Sure, certainly happy to. Um, well, my, my research is basically on um, idiopathic scoliosis. I treat idiopathic scoliosis, I treat different types of scoliosis as well, congenital neuromuscular, but my research is very much into that question why someone who had been normal up to the moment of puberty all of a sudden or over a short period of time starts to develop a curve that will have impact for the rest of their lives basically. So I've started studying that a um, number of years ago and um, actually the Eurospine grant allowed me to move into a next direction, a little bit different direction because I'm looking at the disc as one of the um, one of the enigmas in scoliosis, what is the role of the disc? And I think the role of the disc has been pretty much overlooked. Um, it has been considered a bony disorder, but I think it's much more of a disc disorder. And the Eurospine grant that we received two years ago now, a little more than two years ago, um, helped us um, uh, look into that role of the disc more than we had before. And, and that is to a large extent what my, my research right now is focusing on. Thank you, René. Marcus, congratulations again for your award. Could you tell us a little bit about the research for which you got that award? So, uh, Schulter's Clinic has a very strong background on outcome research and on this current project. We focused um, on uh, a very basic question, actually. It's uh, the restoration of lower doses after short segment T-lift procedures, which um, are usually you know, conducted by uh, um, a lot of spine surgeons worldwide and um, so the question was if um, the T-lift procedure has an, an influence on the lumbar lordosis and also on the lumbar sagittal alignment and uh, if patients who have more lordosis where we restore more lordosis actually have a better outcome it's two and five year follow-up and for the study we used uh, our local spine registry which is also part of the um, spine tango registry and um, we can actually quite easily answer questions like this uh, in the setting that where I work. We had very surprising results. You know, it was um, not that um, the hypothesis was not, was not confirmed. So uh, actually we found that the, the, sh the, the outcome after two and five years is um, independent of the sagittal alignment uh, of the lumbar spine at two and five year follow up. However, we have some findings that there's the, the, the spine and the pelvis, the very sensitive um, system, that we can influence this system with these very sh small spine operations as well, and that um, we, have to, uh, we have to consider that in the preoperative planning. Okay, thank you. What would you uh, tell young researchers about what Eurospine brings uh, you in terms of support of research? So I have a a basic science background. For me it was very valuable to learn the principles of how you can conduct studies and how you set up studies. And for example with these um, research courses of Eurospine, so and I think Eurospine help, um, offers very valuable help in the education of young surgeons to conduct good and meaningful clinical studies. Okay, René, what would you tell the young uh, future researchers about Eurospan can bring to them? You know, research cannot exist without uh, infrastructure and without support. Uh, everything we do costs money and uh, we're always lacking money to do the good, the good studies and the good stuff. Um, and I think Eurospine, with its focus on education and on training and on dissemination of, of knowledge, um, provides a, a very good infrastructure to, um, to help start certain studies. And of course, uh, if you want to start a research, you have to uh, not get disappointed. Um, it may take some, some time to get your program organized. And um, my advice to young researchers would be to really 
look at relevant questions that need to be answered and then write a good protocol. And um, I'm sure Eurospine will be able to uh, support that, uh, that uh, endeavor and um, help them get their research underway. And um, it, it takes time and my research took time to get it developed and I'm very happy with where we are right now. Uh, I think we uh, have a lot more steps in mind that we would like to take and I would hope that uh, Eurospine will be able to uh, support my research but also and maybe more importantly support the research of young people that are coming along right now and are thinking about going into this combination of clinical work and also research. I think the combination of being a surgeon and also doing research, a surgeon scientist, that's, that's probably um, where uh, my interest lies most and uh, I would like to uh, encourage people to start on that same, uh, that same path. Well, I would like to thank you both, uh, René and Marcus, for your contribution. And again, congratulations for the awards that you got. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.